sending data. I think that's gonna be it. And I think Facebook's live. My friends, YouTube is public. Wow. Wow. Let me send you the URL. Will you uh, open that bad boy up and see what that looks like? It's working. Yeah. Whoa, that's so weird. That's so weird. Can I send it to your cronies? Sure. I have one person watching. I know. What? What's for dinner? Uh, excuse me? Huh? What's for dinner? Uh, wait, the echo, you have to turn your sound off. Is the... Well, I'm going to tell everybody, but there's nobody here yet. Oh, no, you need yeah, I need an audience. I need at least one person. One other random person. And I need... Do you want me to send it to my friend? Sure. Bullis Rojeev says, hi, Abio. Hi, Bullis. Hello. 
play eventually, probably. That's nice. Hmm. Oh wait, I have to give you my, I have to give you my um, Instagram, so you can actually Instagram. Am I filming? Yeah. Add it, just add an account. That's that's a GG move. And we're in. And we're in. And we're in. I don't even know how you do that. Do you know how to do it? Going live, we're going live. Do I have friends? Are you ready? I'm ready. You announce yourself? Yeah, wait, but you have to go to that side because the camera's over here. Just rules, and then you can come around. <laughs> Wait, like no, because oh, you're gonna sit up there. Who's watching? I don't know. She just did it. Okay. All right. Okay. That's not generally. So we're stuck in the house. We're not here. We're not live. Are we live? We're live on YouTube. We're live. We're live. So we're stuck in the house because of the land of COVID and we're making dinner. And so the G who's over here filming and I went to Whole Foods yesterday and we stood in line to get into the Whole Foods with the nice equally spaced apart uh, pieces of tape on the ground so that everyone can maintain six feet of distance from each other outside of the store. But of course, once you go inside the store, all bets are off. And if you accidentally touch somebody to get COVID, well, that's on you. The other thing that we noticed while we were in, uh, in Whole Foods, which was really interesting, was that anything that lasts more than like three days is completely gone from the shelf. So you can't buy bread, you can't buy rice, you can't buy pasta, you can't buy bottled water, but the grocery store is full of fresh produce and it was the seafood case was completely full. And I don't know if that's a reflection of the fact that most people don't know how to cook, which is probably true, or that people are stocking up for some uh, interminable winter. In any case, we are not going to eat frozen food. We eat good food here because, you know, it's us. So we're having fish tonight and we're going to commemorate our fish cooking with uh, the first ever Jay Shaw live stream. So let's get some ingredients here. Oh yeah, we're also on YouTube and on Facebook. It's like the triple threat. We're everywhere tonight. We're all over. I need my apron though. One second. What's now that I have my... on your apron? 
Oh, is that Avio? Am I perhaps? What's Avio? Am I perhaps pimping Avio? The YouTube people can't see me, but the YouTube people. Oh. Because the camera is cutting yeah. off my face, but but we have Avio, 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 and look at this. Look at this nice rack of What's Avio in the full set? What are you? Wait, now you want me to talk about Avio? I thought we we're cooking. Oh okay. oh, okay. I'll talk about Avio as we're cooking tonight. So we're going to need a few things. The first thing, of course, we need is Mr. Trout. I'm going to put him on the cutting board. You guys can all take a look. Look at this. Nine bucks for some delicious, delicious fresh whole trout that the nice person at Whole Foods was even kind enough to gut for me and clean because God forbid I'd have to do that live on camera on my own because that would be just a disaster. So these nice beautiful little fishies are going to be our dinner tonight. These babies are trout, rainbow trout, and we are going to cook them with lemon and fresh dill, excuse me, not fresh dill because it's COVID time, uh, fresh lemon, not fresh dill, salt and pepper in the avio saute pan in the oven. And then we're also gonna have rice with that, which we're gonna add cilantro and lime to because citrus makes everything taste better and we all know that. So yeah, let's get started with, uh, let's get started with the rice because that's gonna take longer and we'll also preheat the oven. So first thing we're gonna do is put the oven on three, let's call it 375. Cool. And then let's slide these fish over just for a little second here. And let's do the rice. So, what kind of rice do you want? Brown rice or white rice? Brown rice. You want brown rice? Yeah. Brown rice tastes longer. White rice. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. All right. Should show them our nicely organized drawer sometime too. Sure. These came from Geneva. These beautiful containers with nicely proportioned ingredients in them. Mm. The people want white rice. The people want white rice. Except the, for Eric Wall, who wants brown rice. Eric wants brown. Eric, Eric Wall wants, wants brown, brown rice. rice. Really? Yeah, the people are. The people yeah, but brown are, rice takes too long. Mark wants white white rice. <laughs> Anna wants white rice. Eric Wall wants brown rice. Well, there's a lot of. Mark likes the Tupperware. Oh, he does. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, uh, we're going to do white rice. Uh, rice is pretty easy because it's just equal parts water, or excuse me, two parts water, one part rice on the stove in the little beautiful Avio saucepan. Which one is that? This is the Avio saucepan. Tell us more about it. Avio saucepan is perfect for cooking rice for between two and four people, which is exactly what we're doing tonight let's find the lid for it. it oh <laughs> you can buy it on aviokitchen.com for 67 dollars eric will tell me if i got that wrong <laughs> where's the lid for it though we have heidi th up here we have heidi things for once oh there Jonathan it is can't reach them. yeah lid oh don't don't hit the live stream don't hit the live stream. Okay, all right, let's find a cup or a glass. Big ups to, to Joel for this tip. Don't actually need to measure anything with measuring cups, just use any glass and it's two in one. So, we're just gonna find two cups of water here. Cool. And let's get this guy going. I'm gonna move it to the front so it heats up faster. Susan wants to know if your business partner knows you're doing this. Probably not. <laughs> no, actually, he's probably watching and he's absolutely horrified right now. And he thinks that this is a trade wreck. 
that's coming, that's coming, that's coming. And then eventually everyone will just get bored and they will look away because they'll be so bored by this ongoing live stream that they want to, won't want to know what happens at the end. So it's all fine. Basically, a tree is going to fall in the forest and no one's going to be there to see it. Eric says, no, you've gone rogue. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have gone rogue. Richie is sending a request to be in your live video. Oh, how do you do that? Do we accept? Yeah, I don't know how to do that, though. Okay, we're going live with Richie. Richie says, yo. Hey, what's up, man? We're waiting for Richie. I don't know how this works. Yeah, I don't know how it works either because I've never done it before. Uh -oh. So we're waiting for the rice water to boil. I don't think our video is going to work with Richie. Okay. Let's, let's make a mess over here. Let's, let's find a good place to make a mess. Cool. I think I'm probably going to take some Richie, flat. Richie, we're having, we're having this pause due to poor connection. It's reconnecting. I think it's because we're also streaming this to YouTube. And Facebook. All, and at, Facebook. all at the same time. It's wild. The it's technology is wild. Then. Oh yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, We're losing man. followers fast. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're losing down Restart to three. it. Restart oh, it. Shit. Restart the... <laughs> start on Okay, over. we're back. We're, we're back. back. We're, we're back. 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 Yeah. Praise me. Praise me. <laughs> Zero people watching right now. They all right, Susan's back. Susan's back. Oh, oh thank yeah. God. Oh, Thanks, yeah, Susan. Yeah, yeah. All right, Mark's back. Eric's back. Sorry, Richie. We <laughs> Never, we're not we're doing, doing that anymore. We're not, we're not. Send your messages in. <laughs> Richie, we don't know how to request your live video. We're it's, elder millennials over too, here. It's too much technology. We can't handle it. <laughs> So yeah, um, what else should we tell them about while the water's boiling? So why would you cook rice in a pot and not in a rice maker? A rice maker, for the man who loves kitchen appliances and has 10,000 of them, many of which you made me give away, they're all down here now, uh, don't need it. You know, like, it's just kind of another thing. Like, I, I, sometimes we get out the instant pot to make rice. Sometimes we get out the rice cooker to make rice. But it doesn't save that much time. It's just another thing to get dirty. And it's super easy to just cook rice over the stove with the lid. Like, I guess the people did before the newfangled technology came in. So, that's why I'm cooking rice over the stove. Oh, good. Rice water is boiling. I added a little salt to it, too. That's optional. But I like my rice a little bit salty. And then obviously super citrus, but that's not going to happen until the end. All right. Rice in. Give that a little stir. Let it come to a boil. Put the lid on it. Mark says he loves salt. Yeah, salt is delicious. I agree. Salt's good. Especially in the time of COVID when life's pleasures are greatly diminished. Like you can't leave the house and your fiance yells at you every time you get close to another human being. It's tough out there. Um, Eric wants to know why you didn't wash the rice. I know. I knew I was going to take crap for that. I didn't wash the Did rice. Did you pre-wash it No, for this video? of course no. not. I didn't pre-wash it. Should you wash rice before you cook it? Eh. Fine, sure. I don't think it matters. You don't think it matters? Nah. Okay. I don't think, look, it, it, it removes a whole bunch of starch. So yeah, it's if you don't want your rice to be all sticky and clumped together, you can pre-wash it. I don't want it. my rice to clump together. Would you like the rice we had the other night that I made? It, it's all, everyone is saying you need to rinse it. Okay, Like fine. it's been decided. It's been decided that I'm wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. All right, cool. All right. Moving into the back burner here, where I'm going to let it simmer with the guy on. 
Let's see. Cool. Mary U is letting us know that it also removes anti-nutrients. Who does? Mary U. Oh, so don't wash my rice. No, 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 no. She says wash it. Oh. So everybody says, everybody <laughs> no, no, says it's, wash the rice. It's been decided you need to wash the rice. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm glad I'm learning here tonight while we're live streaming on every single platform. All right. Let's make some trout. I love citrus and I love dill. So tonight, citrus, dill, salt, and pepper only. Let's go find a lemon over here. <laughs> just over here just destroying some stuff no big deal i'm gonna get shit if i don't wash my citrus too but i've got a quite a contraption over here so it's a little oh the people on youtube get to see my forehead and my balding hairline Thanks family for this one for Christmas. This is awesome. This is a giant size knife. This is giant. Oh God. <laughs> giant size knives. Eric says who washes citrus. Wait, I wash citrus before I put it in fish that I'm gonna bake. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to. Mark says you look great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Mark looks sexy too. Always. So what's our like cutting strategy here? So we are slicing thinly some beautiful citrus that we are going to then cut in half and then fill the inside of the fish with. And I'm not going to try and cut really fast because then I'm just gonna make myself look stupid. Wow, so we just do it methodically and put these little lemon slice guys over here. I'm going to come back with the fish over here and leave it on the paper so I don't have to wash my cutting board in between because I'm lazy. Let's open these bad boys up. Beautiful little trout skis. Let's fill them with lemon slices. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. All out of order. All out of order. Salt first. Salt and pepper and dill first, then lemon slices. Come on, Jonathan. Oh, this is nice too. This is from Geneva. A little housewarming gift. Look, we have salt, pepper, big salt. So nice. Wow. Don't be so enthusiastic. Okay. Salty. Salty. I like to salt the outside too, because the, then the fish skin gets all like crispy and salty and yummy. And then Betty the dog likes it better too, which is really important. We had salmon the other night. Betty loved, loved the salmon skin. Oh, you're... What? Eric wants to know what Jonathan got me as a housewarming. <laughs> I've done so much manual labor in the last three weeks. I've broken a ton of stuff and I've assembled a ton of stuff and then I've fixed the stuff that I broke while I was assembling it. So I feel like I've done some things. You're missing all of these YouTube wait, questions. What? There's we so many to YouTube go, questions. We need to take it over to the YouTube questions. Okay, wait, but maybe I should put the fish in the oven. Okay, again. put the fish in the oven. Okay, but I just did the salt. Now I have to do the pepper. I'm a little slow here. Then then my YouTube people, I promise I'll get to you. I'm neglecting. <laughs> Eric says manual labor is not a gift. Manual labor is not a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I do, uh, I would, quite, question to the audience. Would people still be watching if they could leave their house? <laughs> no. Survey! Survey! <laughs> no. Nobody would be watching if they could leave their house. Alright, where's my dill? There's my dill. Richie said he would still be watching. Really? Even if he couldn't leave his house, and that's appreciated. Really? Yeah. Gosh, that is that is really appreciated. That's a really nice thing for him to say. I don't know why he'd want to do that. All right. Lemon into the fish. 
again, big ups to the nice people at Whole Foods for gutting and uh, cleaning for me. I did that last weekend at the people's house who I accidentally infected with my potential case of COVID uh, and it made a huge mess, as you would expect. All right, we've stuffed the fish with lemon now. We're gonna put a few more slices on top. It's nice and citrusy. These will crisp up a little bit in the oven. Great. Now we're gonna we need our avio saute pan. And we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of it so that the fish skin doesn't stick to it as it cooks. And yeah, Abio, five piece set. Turns out you can bake with it too. You don't need a bunch of stuff. Yeah, baking pan would work fine, but saute is about the right size. I might have to stuff these guys in just a little bit, but they'll fit. Let's go one fishy in, two fishy in, maybe, 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 maybe. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Uh -oh. Why isn't the pan hot? Pan's not hot because this is going in the oven. We're baking it. Should we show? Should we show the people? Okay, this is going in the oven now. Okay. Uh, Shouldn't you put the fish in a hot pan? No. Okay. No, no, no. We could, we could have heated the pan and fried one side and then finished it in the oven, but I want it to cook evenly all the way around and it's gonna cook this way. So I put this on 375, that's actually not hot enough. I want it to be really hot because I want the fish skin to get crispy. So I'm now gonna go up to 450 and then that's gonna take about 15 minutes. The people are saying that they like crispy skin. Yeah, the crispy fish skin is the best skin. I agree. Okay. Put that gross thing in the garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Let's make sure our rice is not burning or boiling over. Nope, our rice is good. Except for the fact that I didn't pre-wash it, so everyone can make fun of me for that. Uh, let's answer some YouTube comments, questions. <clears throat> Richie doesn't like the heads on the fish. Oh, but you it's all part of the plating at the end. It's gonna look much better that way. All right, Bullets, Bullets Rochi has a lot of questions. Uh, Bull, what's happening, chicken question. <laughs> Your chicken isn't completely cooked and you put it in the fridge, can you cook it again the next day? Um, I find that re hit it, re- So wait, you have to say the question. Okay, right? the question from the audience was, if your chicken, I'm gonna stand over here so this can see. Yes, Sarah, it's an obvio apron. <laughs> Boop. For the people. Okay. Yes. Uh, if your chicken isn't completely cooked and you put it in the fridge, can you cook it again the next day? I tend to find that most reheated chicken, especially chicken that you reheat in the microwave, gets really dry, rubbery. So I would say no question because in order to get the chicken hot enough to cook on the inside, you have to way overcook the outside. The best way to do chicken, if you wanna be able to reheat it all week, is to do it sous vide in a water bath, which is really annoying. And there's another appliance or accessory that no one needs. So I think the answer is just have lots of chicken breast in your refrigerator. It only takes five minutes to cook per side and you can make it anytime you want. Uh, nice shot. I want my chicken question answered. We did that. Um, I'm here. Eric Wall wants microwave. YouTube sent to him. The YouTube link? Yeah, he needs the YouTube link. The YouTube link needs to be sent to Eric Wall. It, oh, it's on our obvious. <laughs> Eric, it's on our obvious channel, which you didn't know existed until now. <laughs> <laughs> our public audio YouTube channel, which could probably be deleted and replaced before we know it. But I will text it to you. Eric Wall. There it is. 
There it is. I think the YouTube one might be a few seconds behind us. So if you like have the YouTube up and you also have the Instagram live up, you might be disappointed in the timing. Anyway. Uh, okay, next Does question. Does anyone else have a cooking question? You always wash rice. Says Bullis Road Chief. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's been decided. You wash the rice. How come you don't see my comments? Says Bullis Road Chief. Yeah. Because I was busy. Because he wasn't it's. I, I'm doing too many. Th show them the setup. This setup is insane. I mean, we've got my phone over the the stove, and then that is hooked up to my computer, and then I have another iPhone on a tripod, so that I can talk to people on YouTube. And then those plug into my computer and then those go through a program on my computer called OBS, which I taught myself how to use yesterday and today, and I suck at, obviously. And then those push to a platform called, where is it? Restream.io. And Restream.io pushes it to Facebook and YouTube. And then Geneva sits in the corner with an iPhone and does Instagram. And if I were 15 and a gamer, I would have figured all this stuff out like five years ago, but I am an elder millennial to your point, so I know nothing. Okay. So we have- Down to two people watching. No one cares. Everyone's you've bored. Got I got Eric, 15. You got Eric and Jeff Gaudette. Jeff Gaudette's in? Jeff Gaudette's Jeff watching. Gaudette's in. Oh, Laura Miller just is watching. Oh, now you're up to yes, three. Yes, I have three people. Awesome. Okay, um, I don't know, what should we talk to them about for f like 14 minutes? Um, Laura says hi. Hi, Laura. Jason has no Oh, joined. Jason Choi, long time no see. Um, does anyone have any cooking questions? Does anybody want to ask me questions that I probably don't know the answer to so that I look foolish in front of three people? Probably. <laughs> Jason's really good at cooking. Jason has shared many good cooking photos with Abio. He gets tagged frequently, a la Eric Wall. How do you not burn garlic? How do you Ask not Laura. burn garlic? Like, are you sauteing garlic? Is that the question? Laura, are you sauteing? Is, she, is, is the garlic going into a hot frying pan with other things? It's not Jason Choi. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, okay, so uh, lots of butter and olive oil. And then when you put the garlic in, wait till it starts to smell fragrant and starts to get just a little bit translucent, but not brown, because when it starts to get brown, then it's gonna get dark quickly. So as long as it's a little bit translucent and it smells good, you're good. Put the rest of this stuff in and keep cooking. So the trick is more butter. <laughs> butter and oil and salt is pretty much the answer to everything. Yeah, all of life's cooking questions. Wonderful. Yes. Great question, Laura. Great question. Thank you. Participation from the audience. Bolus Road Chief says you look great. I'm glad you think so. That makes <laughs> that makes one of one. Anybody else? I think we still have like 13 minutes. Yeah, we have like 13 minutes. We may have to end this live stream and come back in 10 minutes so people are just going to be bored out of their minds. Or maybe I should make something else. Well, oh, I got it. Let's make margaritas while we're waiting for the food to get done. All right. Yeah, margaritas. Yeah, margaritas. margaritas. All right. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Why not? Jeff wants to know Casamigos. where's the pre-made dish. Casamigos? The pre-made dish? I don't get it. What does he mean? Oh, so we can have tr quick transitions. I agree, Jeff. We should have had quick more transitions. preparation. No, I don't, yeah, he needs to, I don't like, want quick to like, take it out of the oven and like, bam, it's finished. No, this is like a live stream. Like You could like be cooking with me or something. I don't know. But I would have had to tell you what I was cooking ahead of time, which I didn't do. So it's a problem. All right. That's Sorry right. for disappointing, Jeff. We'll work on that. Let's go to... Um, I can't get ice out of our new ice machine unless I take it apart, which is kind of annoying, so I have to do this very slowly, like everything else tonight. Wait for it. 
Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Laura wants wait to. Wait for it. Okay, I'll wait for it. What will you be cooking? When is the next time you are doing this? What will you be cooking? All right, you guys have suggestions. Bulls Road Chief wants to know when we're doing this again and what we're actually going to be cooking. So I'll take suggestions now for what people want to see cooked out of pantry staples. I can go through and tell you what I have. We have ground beef. We have frozen ground beef, frozen chicken thighs, frozen shrimp. Those are all good. Sarah would like to see something with cheese. Cheese. Oh, do you want to show Sarah our cheese drawer right now? Our cheese drawer is No, I can't ridiculous. get back up on my okay. perch after well, I get back. Well, we currently have feta cheese, goat cheese, two types of no, what, we don't, cheddar. We don't need the, the fridge tour. You don't we want just want tour. recipes. Okay, no one wants we want to know what's being made tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm like... Any requests? Bolognese. How about bolognese? How about, how about, how about, um, uh, like some sort of stew perhaps or soup in the stock pot maybe, except that people would have to just watch a live stream for like an hour and a half while it simmers. <laughs> and then they would be so bored. All right. Sarah would like tuna noodle casserole. Tuna noodle casserole? I've never made that before. And Laura is requesting a Canadian dish. Ooh, <laughs> good one, Laura. What do you want? But you live off of cheese and meat. Like, what am I going to... Jeff says you really need two stock pots so you can have one simmering and then you can pull out one that's already finished. Oh, uh, like fake it till you yeah, make it? Yeah, you got to fake it till you make it. Okay. Literally, in this case. So now we've moved on to cutting lots of baby key limes because the limes that I ordered from Instant Cart were not available. So they, they substituted real limes for key limes, <laughs> which oh, so hard are still you. delicious, but it requires a lot more of them. And I can't use my, my citrus squeezer because my citrus squeezer doesn't get this so small. You just have to use so I'm going to literally claws. now use my claws to squeeze one at a time like three drops of lime into this mixing glass do i get do you think that casamigos would sponsor me for this hashtag casamigos hashtag give me a case or something for live streaming with four viewers <sighs> sarah would like homemade mac and cheese with career yes, oh shit sarah. so yes. would geneva yes all okay. That. You want to do decadent meal next? All right. I will make homemade mac and cheese in the next live stream. Wow, that's a big promise. That, that how's that, people? Let's see what how the just people just one respond. type of cheese or multiple different no. types of cheese. No, no, no. At least two, possibly three types of cheeses in the mac and cheese. Caitlin would like you to make churros again. Oh, for the fried churros, yeah. she like those. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ooh, I can do that. Oh, that's just a lot of a lot of lime squeezing for not a lot of juice. Are your hands hurting yet? No. Did you want to like move to where's Betty Dog? Did you put her in the? I think I put her in the box. Oh, maybe like dogs and babies tend to make these things better too. We could like throw a little bit of Betty in there. Tell me how to use a meat thermometer. Stick the meat thermometer into the meat into the middle part. If you stick it all the way to the bottom where you're touching the pan, then you're measuring the heat of the pan, which is telling you that it's way hotter than it actually is. And if you put it at the top of whatever you're pushing it into, then it's going to read really cold even if you already seared on that side um, because it's not on the heat source anymore. So put it in the middle. That's how you use the thermometer. Hopefully I'm almost done with the squeezing. Uh, we have a request for you to talk about spices on YouTube. Spices? Like, what's your top three favorite spices? My top three favorite spices are uh, salt, pepper. I don't think those count. They don't count? No, I'll give you those two. Okay. Yeah, that's like a very challenging question, YouTube. Hmm. Probably 
Herbs don't count as spices, right? No, herbs don't count. I don't know. You're making this paprika. <laughs> I we use a lot of paprika, cumin, and I love cayenne. Paprika, cumin, and cayenne, and I don't ever cook with the latter one because of Geneva. Sad panda. All right, we have a lot of lime in here now. Let's pour some tequila. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Is this what you recommend as a cocktail pairing for the trout? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> a deli a nice, we're going to have a nice delicate trout with rice tonight, and then we're going to have a margarita. No, uh, actually, it's not bad because the, the trout is citrus and dill. The the uh, rice is going to be citrus because citrus everything, and the margarita citrus. So we're just pairing citrus with citrus and citrus. It makes so much sense. Oh, that's hot. Be careful. Oh, our rice is coming together there. Okay, better now. Actually, maybe maybe need to speed it up. Uh oh, I have to open this drawer to get to the agave for the margarita. But when I do that, it's going to screw up the live stream for the YouTube people. Hold, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, YouTube people. I promise I'll fix this <laughs> soon. Not a pro. Not a pro. Okay, good. Um... Uh, orange liqueur or something. Or maybe no orange liqueur. Maybe not. Oh yeah, maybe orange liqueur. A little bit, little bit of triple sec. Cameo of Betty wanted. Yeah, everybody always wants to see Betty. Betty is the best. I don't like a lot of triple sec because I think it tastes syrupy. I know if Mark were still watching, which he may or may not be. Mark is no longer watching. Mark is no longer watching. He's into the Cadillac margarita. I don't have Contro either. But we're just gonna do a little triple sack. Do some agave here. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Jeff says that's questionable. What, agave? A Jeff says what part's questionable, Jeff? Yeah. Aaron Levy's joined. Oh, Aaron Levy's here, all right. If we got, we've got a party now. All right, wait, where's the, yeah. taste, taste test, taste test. Triple sec is questionable. What is it instead? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, you wanna try? Um, I'll just have it in a cup. Thanks. You don't, you don't want to taste? I don't want to be fed. You don't want to be fed like a little baby? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. That's pretty good. I think you're going to like it. Jeff recommends nothing. No sweetener? That's that's so citrusy. The only person in the world who would like that would be me. Geneva would not approve. All right, I'm putting jalapeno in mine, too. And I know you don't want jalapeno in yours. No jalapeno. Geneva has no interest in jalapeno. OK, that's good. Yep. Jeff says agave is chill. Lab. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's all I put in there was agave. We need a couple of glasses. We need ice in our glasses. We need... You want salt though, right? Yeah, I'll have yeah. some salt. Thank you. Cool. I feel like we have all this nice plateware now from Geneva, from Heath and East Fork. She has great taste in, in Try kitchen to get me to be your camera person more. What? Yes, I am. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to do. All right, this is for the salt. Oh, Josh is now. Oh, action. Josh is on. Josh must be really bored Josh too. Josh says I love this guy. Josh is so bored right now. He he's just has nothing. You better have six than... people now on That's... your video. It's a new record. It's a new record. Thank you for the love. The first the first live stream of all time, and I get six people. Yeah. Damn. This is not a good angle. Please step back. Thank oh, you. okay. Huh? Salt. 
Salt. Bolus Roadchief wants to know how to make a perfect fried egg in her obvio pan. That's Tune like back in tomorrow morning. Live stream tomorrow morning for breakfast, folks. <laughs> we'll start at 8 a.m. Mm. Oh, Aaron wants to correct us that we have only five people. Uh, what? <laughs> Come on! Why are you going to bring me down like that? I thought there were six. There were, I had yeah. I mean, come on. A man, a man can dream. Maybe one day I'll have twelve, and then if I do this enough, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. You don't have that many maybe. followers. Yeah, well, I have to make. <laughs> at some point, I have to make my Instagram public, right? If I'm going to be a public, a public figure. How many followers do I need to apply for public figure status to have like a check mark or whatever it is on my Instagram? Yeah, we got a ways to go. Okay, jalapeno in to mine, but not into Geneva's. Margarita time. Oh yeah. All right, Aaron, Aaron has to go, but maybe he'll be back. Maybe. Um, okay. Jeff would like for you to know it's pretty solid engagement for your follower count, which is kind of a That's... sick burn, and I appreciate it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really, really good engagement. That's not a bad point. He's a smart man. Hey, we... uh, Laura wants to know what the best food to cook during the full moon is. Um, uh, whatever G requests, because the full moon's special time for her. So I would say salmon is a good choice for the full moon. And I would also say sushi. Do you sushi. feel like it's like circular foods? Like would you? Oh yes, circular foods like 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 sushi okay. rolls. Okay. Cut circular. Okay. All right. Circular. Um, okay. Let's get a little line, little. Well, let's make this nice. Let's put it on the rim. Let's put a little key wow. lime on the rim of the glass. Woo! Yeah, let's do it over here too. There it is. There it is. Wow. Wow. Margarita for our fish night. Cheers. Cheers. Perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. What do you think? What do you think? How do you feel about that? <laughs> too, way too much citrus? <laughs> too it's much fine. tequila? It's perfect, right? You're down to two people. Shit. Okay, well, let's check on the rice. Rice is done. Except... According to the world, I've uh, Are you gonna eat that rice? ruined it because I didn't wash it. But no, it's gonna be, look at this. Look at this rice. This rice looks amazing in that avio pan. That's amazing rice. It's amazing rice. Small stock pot? In the small saucepan. Look at that. Wow. Mm, okay. Uh, let's check on our fish. Wow, look at that. Look at that. John and Helena like to know they're both watching on the same account. So uh -huh. they'd like for their so that follower account to count as two. Ooh. You guys. You guys. You gotta show it. To too. the people. Yeah. Oh, well, I need something else to pick it up with so I don't burn the crap out of my hand. Because, yes, oven safe. Obvio is oven safe, but... It's still hot when you take it out of the oven. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that inside. Even Stormy might like this. Yeah, because it's some delicious looking fish, and I think. The fish is still whole yeah. still, but so she might not like that part. That baby's done. Okay. You yes. can cut the head off if you don't like it full. Yeah, we'll set that over to the side for a moment. So now let's get some cilantro and more citrus for... The rice. Cilantro, cilantro. Mm. We need a playlist for this too, except will that I go through or just like ruin idea. everything? Yeah. Cilantro, I just take it all. Just take the whole thing. Did you wash that? No, I didn't wash it. <laughs> Why would I do that? That's crazy. I don't need to wash it. Okay. Maybe a little more. You gotta eat a peck of dirt before you die. 
Says who? John Long. Oh. Yeah, smart man. Uh, what I should do though to keep this freshy fresh is wrap it in a paper damp paper towel. So let's do that. Let's go get into our our crazy setup here. Jeff wants to know, do you include the stems? Yeah, everything. I just cut everything and put it in. It's all good. It's all good stuff. In the time of COVID, we don't waste. Mm -hmm. mm. Laura wants to know if she should cut the stems off of her herbs. Nope. Cut them up. Put them in your food. They taste good too. It's all good stuff. Oh, except like the very bottom of the very bottom of the asparagus is kind of tough. Like if you try and roast it with the rest of the asparagus, you just get hard stringy pieces. So that you could save for stocks and stuff. But yeah, I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't try and just eat the bottom of the asparagus by itself. Mm. Okay. Cilantro into our rice. I don't want it to be really bougie about it here, but out the bench. Gotta have a nice scraper. Essential tools. Knife, scraper. Is that an obvious scraper? No, but I don't know soon. If it's essential. Though. Soon. Knife, scraper, and then I like the spoonchula. I'm a big fan of the spoonchula. It's like the spoonchula? Well, it's not a spatula and it's not a spoon. It's halfway in between. Mm. So it's like not quite as deep as a spoon. But uh, it's a great tool because you can scoop with it. You can also, well, you can cook eggs with it. And you just, like I use this thing for everything. Like I use a spoonchula instead of a wood spoon for almost everything. I really like it. Number one tool? Uh, number one tool is chef's knife. Mm. And then number two tool would be like cutting board. And then maybe number three tool would be the spoonchula. Okay. Cilantro, add more salt to our rice. Just gonna do it this way. Jeff also says that wood spoons are whack. Yeah, wood spoons are whack. They're always like dirty and crusty and harder to clean. All right, uh, more citrus. That's what we need. More citrus. Things taste more limey when you add salt to them. It's weird, but like salt brings out the lime flavor in lime. What's your recommendation for a spoonchula? Jeff wants to know. He doesn't have one. Well, Abia will be making them, so uh, hold in out. the future. So basically, hold a, out for this. Hold, hold out for a major purchase in your future. But uh, this is a nice Amazon brand. I think this one was like, I don't know, four dollars or something. And it's, it's cool because it's got metal in it also. Um, so it is stiff and bendy all at the same time. And now I have rice all over my hands. Sticky rice because I didn't wash my rice. So it's all sticky. Gross. Okay. More lime going into the rice. <clears throat> Come on. Really like bit off a lot of lo manual lime squeezing of these key limes tonight. Really putting Eric Wall says you're doing great. Really? Really, Eric Wall? I don't think so. Really? I think Eric Wall is being Love is cast. Blind is calling. Eric, I thought you were better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Wall thinks I'm doing great. I don't, I don't something's wrong. Something's wrong. <clears throat> All right, we've got citrus in there, we've got salt. A lot of seeds, a lot of seeds, because why not? You have seeds in the rice? Well, yeah, because I didn't get all the seeds out of the oh. limes while I was squeezing them with my claw hands. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's going to be good. I promise. It's going to be really good. Okay, we're just going to do a little mixing. Try not to make too much of a mess here. But that's inevitable because it's me. And what would dinner be without a massive cleanup effort afterwards? Great. And we've got our fish is all done. Our margaritas are done. Let's plate. Let's plate. 
Should we use the purple plates? Use the purple plates. Use the purple plates. Oh, but we don't have the, the small purple plates? The big ones. Where? Up there. These are not purple. These That's are white. Fine. Use the white yeah. plates? She's my style Show. consultant. Style consultant. Okay. Let's get, get in here with some rice. Get in. Do you have any tips for cooking a whole fish? Yeah, like have the grocery store clean it for you if you're lazy like me. <laughs> um, no, uh, uh, whole fish is delicious. If you like skin, because you can cook the skin and get it all crispy and then eat it. Jeff wants to get a red snapper. Red snapper's good. Yeah, red snapper. I'm in the red snapper. Yeah. Laura wants you to plate. I'm plating. Plating's happening, folks. I should be doing it for the uh, YouTube people. And John too. wants to know, is whack good or bad? <laughs> whack is bad. <laughs> whack is bad. Jeff, you want to like help him out with that? <laughs> Uh, oh man, that's too funny. Okay. Turn our oven off. We plated our rice. Oh baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh, wow. oh, we got a we have a little bit of a straggler in the pan on that one, but that's okay. Spoonchilla to the rescue. Spoonchilla to the rescue. Yeah. Spoonchilla. Do do do. Do, do. Okay. Got a little bit of extra here for later. That's okay. A little bit. Yeah. How should we garnish this? More cilantro? Um, On top? Yeah, why not? Why not? Do you have to cut more of it though? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. I could probably come up with some other herbs to garnish with, but it's the... Oh, parsley! No, it's the wrong one. That's not it. Not right now. But in the, in the time of COVID, one does not have access to infinite numbers of herbs unless you grow them, which I've now tried to start to do outside. And I planted my first herbs a week ago. I planted uh, parsley, cilantro, basil, and parsley, cilantro, basil, and mint. And the only one that doesn't look like it's starting to die after a week is the mint. And that's because that's a weed and I think you can pretty much grow it anywhere. The other ones I underwatered even though it rained all week. I don't know how that's possible. And they look a little sad. So I have work to do on my gardening skills. Okay, a little bit more cilantro to go on top. And we're plating and we're plating. Is there a strategy to putting the cilantro on top? Just make a mess. Oh, perfect. Just make a mess. Great. Yeah. Shall we show the people our dinner? Wow. What do we think? What do the people think? Wow. Wow. I guess they look exactly wow. the same, so we don't need to show the YouTube people. Wow. Bing. Okay. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thanks for joining. We're going to eat do dinner. Do you have like a, a signature sign-off? No, we need to come up with one over any there. Su any suggestions, please please send them in for a signature sign-off. A giant in the kitchen. I need a I need a handle too. I need a more interesting handle. Giant twig in the kitchen. <laughs> Something I'm Ron Burgundy. Send in your suggestions. Hi right, guys, have a good night. We're gonna have some margaritas and some fish now. Thanks, friends. Yum yum. You had fifteen. Do you want to share this to your story? Sure.